Welcome to the first in our series of basing tutorials. Uh, we're going to be starting with mud bases. We're going to be doing it fast, easy, get your stuff on the table. Um, so mud bases to start with today. There is links to the products below uh, once we get the videos up. Uh, today's products we are using, we are using Villaho earth texture round about the 10 pounder tub mark uh, citadel's agrax uh, about four or five quid and gamers grass um, burn tufts uh, it's to get there's a couple of versions of these that you can use when I come to put them on I'll, uh, I'll explain the different uh, the couple of types uh, I'm just preferring these ones at the moment for like a, a mud burnt wasteland so I always start with a, a base that has been uh, primed. So when I'm doing them like this, I put them on a big sheet of uh, masking tape that we use for the vinyl cutters. Spray them all, then I can attach the figure. Um, if you're painting it and then doing the base in, uh, in that sort of technique, so you're putting the basin on, the primer comes when you prime the model. But if you're doing them separate and then attaching the model afterwards, prime the base. Uh, the first thing we use is earth texture, which does look like peanut butter, but do not eat it. Uh, if you're doing small in between legs of figures, then I use the GW spatulas. Really good tool, if not, I'm just using a metal rule and a rule of thumb I get just about just a bit bigger than a like a pea size put it on the base and then just spread it towards the edges if it starts pulling thin then pull some more from the middle uh, but that should be enough to do the base you don't need to layer it on really thick unless you want to build layers and even with building layers up I would tend to do like a second coat to get a, a second layer so once it's all down if you just pat it randomly it gives you like peaks and troughs they, some of them will settle down once it dries so that is the basics of the, the mud so once uh, that dries like that <laughs> there's going to be a lot of that um, you get a really good strong texture at this point you can do a couple of things you can dry brush a lighter colour onto it so when the agrax goes on it picks up the higher bits uh, for this I'm just going for the quickest and easiest to get the best looks out of it so it's agrax it's neat straight out the pot if you don't want it as dark as this turns out mix it 50 50 with lamium um this isn't a hard and fast rule but it's just how it comes out at the end i'm actually liking it at the moment this is probably my most of my armies are getting based in this color scheme um, so you can be quite liberal with the the agrax you can see it already starting to pull that and again if you leave that for 10 15 minutes just speeding up it comes out like that again at this point you can then do a, a light dry brush to give it some um, a little bit more character. But as I said, these are quick and easy, as fast as you can. So the next thing is the tuft. I use um, just white PVA. And a pair of tweezers. 
and depending on where the legs are going you can the gamers grass tufts are self-adhesive i've always just done a little bit of a little spot of glue underneath to drop it into that place um, so no more than two or three gamers grass do a various different types they do the round tufts or they do um, the wild tuft so you can get different ones so once that's done that's where you end up and then for the final bit if it needs it you just go around the rim in uh, black paint just to give it that final the wash might have um, dribbled off you might have caught it like I have there little catch with the uh, the brown earth when I was doing it from when it was based so it's just a quick fair, you can water it down a bit not that much and it's just to basically frame the miniature base again just neatens it up a bit there's a couple of people a couple of my friends prefer the um, Steel Legion Brad version of doing the uh, edges of the bases I've always just gone for black it's clean it's decisive and there it is uh, as an example that's what it looks like on a miniature after it's done see that one I did a slight amount of dry brushing just to pick up some of the things and makes it just a bit more character but that is it um, I reckon you could do a complete 10 man squad in about an hour start to finish by the time you're finishing one stage of them all you're back to the start again doing the next a little bit of drying time in between but that's it that's what it comes out like really fast really simple i hope that helped and i'll see you for the next one cheers now bye bye